due west of Oklahoma City. I'll show you why I say that. Uh, tornado, well, it actually has just weakened in the past uh, with a new scan, but right there, uh, the uh, t very strong tornado rotation signature. And, and, and you say weakened, that's relative. Yeah, in a relative sense, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we're still uh, looking at a massive storm here. I, I'm pretty sure there was a tornado right there. Uh, we have these uh, colors that are greenish and a little black hole. Pretty sure that there was some damage there five minutes ago uh, in this area. Um, that location would be south of Bethany. Uh, by about uh, the location there uh, would be about uh, four and a half miles uh, south of Bethany. That puts it just about uh, uh, five and a half miles due west of downtown Oklahoma City. Uh, the situation then has changed a little bit with the newest scan that has come in, not showing quite as strong a rotation. You see here that the green and the red are smeared out a little bit farther apart. Uh, that doesn't mean we're done with the, with the circulation. It just uh, means that temporarily uh, it appears that uh, that tornado circulation has weakened. But uh, still a very dangerous and emergency situation coming in for the west uh, side of Oklahoma City. Uh, and southwest side of Oklahoma City as a possible tornado moving uh, across this area down toward uh, uh, the north side of anywhere from the north side of Moore to the uh, south side of Oklahoma City. All right, and so Oklahoma City still need to take cover right now in Oklahoma City, and this does go down to parts of Moore as well. Absolutely, and uh, the storm just to the west of that, uh, an update, um, Mike uh, Bettis and his uh, tornado hunt team that previously were hit by that uh, earlier storm have moved far enough to the north now uh, to avoid the uh, the hook echo that is wrapping around. Uh, let's take a look at the velocity on this one. Uh, there is still a tornado warning on this one. It also is a little bit on the broad side at this point. Uh, I'll take a look and see if we have any debris signature. Not really, uh, but that doesn't mean uh, that there cannot be a tornado either in progress or uh, one that will reform. So a pair of dangerous storms uh, that are so, rolling across uh, west of Oklahoma City. W would you say that uh, the tornado hunt crew, that are they are they in the clear now? Is they're limping along in their yeah, damaged they're, vehicle? Yeah, they're in the clear. They're going to be in okay. rain. They may have okay. some hail issues, but uh, they're they're past the tornado. The tornado threat will be running. Whoops, I need to redraw that. Tor let's start on this side. Tornado threat will be south of the body of these two storms in the warm air. Uh, this is all rain-cooled air, uh, so the tornado threat is going for the south half of Oklahoma City down toward Moore if it turns a little bit to the right. The next one behind that will probably roll a little bit to the south, and that one is one, uh, the south of this rain-cooled air. That will probably run toward Mustang if it turns right and maybe directly toward Moore. So Moore is certainly not out of uh, trouble, but probably would only be the north side of Moore for the first storm, maybe a more direct hit uh, for the second if and, it uh, intensifies. And some of the video that we have seen so far in the past hour and 15 minutes or so is that this has been a very impressive, very big, very wide tornado. Yeah, very wide and uh, at times very hard to see because it not only had the tornado but some rain wrapping around that uh, that made it uh, a little bit obscured or made it uh, look like it's just a big wall of rain coming in that you you didn't have the very sharp defined edges of a tornado that you would would recognize and so dr forbes knowing going back and thinking when we were watching that video and the radar at the same time how would you compare the radar right now to to what it was earlier when we were looking at that video uh, the radar signatures at this time are much weaker in terms okay. of evidence of tornadoes or tornado intensity uh, than they were back uh, at the, around the time when um, when uh, we were uh, having the the storm hit just to the west of Yukon and hit Mike Bettis and uh, and a number of uh, locations that were damaged vehicles and, and structures damaged but but there's still enough to say that there is concern here oh, and, and definitely, uh, yeah there definitely, is definitely concern definitely concern uh, it wanes and intensifies now we're getting again here uh, on this lead storm a, a much more intense rotation I'll uh, pull that one up there still a pretty strong rotation showing up uh, with this particular storm. Uh, Oop. State Fairgrounds. That's from the latest tornado warning. And oh, okay. uh, so I'm trying to listen to see yeah, what yeah, some uh, new information Yeah, just from the latest tornado in. warning here, we've got meteorologists here uh, reading every single word while we're up here trying to walk you through uh, some of uh, the tools we're looking at here. We do have meteorologists that are going through the warning from the National Weather Service. The latest tornado warning uh, saying that there is a uh, tracking a tornado one mile south of the fairgrounds and it's moving southeast uh, at 20 miles an hour, Dr. Forbes. And, and this was at a 7-Eleven. Yeah, and this would, be, this would be right here with the tornado symbol right in the middle of this little red ring. And so we're probably continuing to be uh, having a rain-wrapped tornado. Now you see 
just in the last five right. minutes how these wane and intensify, uh, how tightly now the red and green have come together uh, right in the middle and of in the middle of and, that location. And if you were just looking at that, if we can go back real quick, Dr. Forbes, if you're just watching us, you're not sure what you're seeing, just know it when you see uh, the reflectivity, when you see the red and the the red and the the green next to each other, that's bad. This is rain though. This is something different. Uh, this is okay, uh, or, uh, yeah, yeah, right here. This is uh, um, the velocity here. So this so is measuring current. the wind. And when you see the green and the red next to each other, just know that's bad. So that's one of the things we're looking at here. And uh, it has, over the past five minutes, really intensified. Uh, previously, it was up here, so it has taken a jog more toward the south and east and is currently located, uh, that rotation signature currently located about uh, five miles due southwest of Oklahoma City. Uh, directly in the path of that, at the direction it is most recently taken, would be Valley Brook, uh, unless it takes a uh, track more toward the southeast uh, it is for the moment not heading directly toward Moore, Oklahoma with this storm. Uh, that said, uh, there is another storm on the way that will probably go a jog farther south than, than this lead storm is doing. All right, but there's still definitely reason for concern. And uh, we want to update you right now, our breaking weather alert system here at the Weather Channel. Uh, we are still tracking. We have meteorologists here tracking all of the warnings that are coming in right now, including Missouri, also including Oklahoma, but also an update there. Traffic is backed up on Interstate 35. That's in Oklahoma City. So people are trying to get out of the tornado's path. And we were talking about this after the tornado went through more, was what do you do if you don't have a storm shelter? If you, don't, you can't get underground, you try to get out of the way. And that was the question, Dr. Forbes, we were talking about. And one of the things we, we, that we were worried was people backing up. You can't yeah. get out of town if everyone's trying to get out of town. Yeah, that's the problem with so many uh, people uh, and a tornado coming like this, you can clog the roadway. So uh, there's no good solution to, uh, to this kind of situation. The tornado warning for Canadian County has uh, been canceled, but the tornado warning remains in effect for central Oklahoma and northwestern Cleveland counties. Tornado emergency continues for downtown Oklahoma City, including the fairgrounds, Will Rogers World Airport, the Capitol, Valley Brook, North Moor, and Dell City. The a large destructive tornado has been confirmed one mile south of the fairground. It's moving east to southeast at 20 miles per hour. Uh, the latest uh, movement was more to the, to the southeast that would head it right toward uh, the Valley Brook area and uh, areas that are about one or two miles uh, uh, due north or south of that location. All right, so right now we're looking on the left-hand side of your screen, storm chasers. And Dr. Forbes, again, they're going, they've got to be close to something, whether it's the inflow, uh, because the trees, again, like we saw earlier, really starting to blow. While yes. Now, yeah, we're seeing here, like, full screen, seeing the, the big picture. And look at that. That's some strong winds. S uh, strong winds blowing from right to left there uh, without knowing their exact position. Uh, they are in rain. Uh, they're probably, well, let's hope that they're not directly ahead of the uh, of this uh, tornado uh, but very very strong winds you saw a flag there blowing from uh, from right to left as they drove past it so uh, not seeing anything immediately ahead there that looks like a tornado uh, but uh, certainly uh, they are in the rain uh, I'm not sure where they are uh, do we know anything about no, where this I, I believe this is uh, storm chaser Tony Laubach is that right okay and is he on the phone with us, or is this this shot? Okay, we still don't know where it is. We're uh, monitoring several sources here, uh, but we're uh, keeping an eye. We want to see what's going on from the ground. We're keeping uh, tabs on the radar, both a look at the, the spin and the, the wind direction based on the colors we're seeing on the radar, also the intensity of the rain, and you can get clues also by looking at this, looking at, uh, there's some emergency crews going by there but looking at the colors on the radar so looking at the intensity of the rain and the pattern that it's making gives us an idea of where the storm could be and Dr. Forbes it looks like uh, getting really close to Oklahoma City right yeah, now. it really is getting very very close to Oklahoma City at this point uh, and now appears to have two circulations within it one here and uh, another and, there. And Dr. Parms, quickly, will you explain what, what those are? Those are automatically generated. Yeah, these what are automatically generated signatures. Uh, this one indicates a, uh, a rotation, and then uh, there are 
three levels, green, yellow, and red, that indicate the intensity of the rotation then that is a tornado vortex signature. So this one is more like a mesocyclone, a little bit on the broad side. So like side. a big spin in the big atmosphere. Spin, not like the wall cloud tight, kind yeah, of a thing. Exactly. And then the, back, the, the, the tighter one is more like the radar saying, this is a really good this chance that's a tornado. a tornado. Yeah, that's the way the objective analysis, the, the and we'll see here that and, and, and this the, is the, the computer. red and green are, are touching right in this location. Uh, so that would be the tornado signature. Now, some of these signatures can become five minutes old. We can get some new velocities okay, come so in. Okay, so that triangle should be that moved over a little bit. should be moved over at this point to this location. So essentially, that is the computer generating where the computer thinks there is a tornado. This is an, another reason why storm chasers in the field are so important, because they can confirm if that's true. Indeed. And... Uh, what appears to be happening now is this big, broad hook echo here of the body of the storm seems to have once again drawn a little bit of its rain-cooled air all the way around the original circulation, pushing it north. So again, it's so very difficult to project the path of these and in these high precipitation situations. It may be making a little bit of a jog now more toward the north and east, toward Oklahoma City. Okay, can we take a look at, at MAX 2, I believe, Dr. Forbes? We can get a wider view to give people an idea of exactly uh, what other areas might be in the path. Because now you're looking at where the rain is, all the moving colors, and also the red outlined areas. Those are the tornado warnings. That is the immediate, the imminent threat area where you do need to be getting underground getting out of the way of this tornado. Yeah, and indeed, and, and just pointing out that there are two storms there that have uh, tornado warnings on them. One that is in the southwest side there, a new scan just came in. This hook echo here, and then another right in there, two back-to-back -back storms. And you have They'll more up there. Mm. Yeah, the, uh, the southern one. Uh, as I've been saying, we'll probably take a jog a little bit farther to the south than the first one following along the outflow. That one would take the second storm toward Moore there at 8 o'clock uh, at its current motion. It may, let's hope, take a, a little bit of a jog somewhere else or better still, just totally dissipate. Here's the lead storm, Cleveland and the Oklahoma counties. That one coming toward Dell City, the Woods, the Nuala, the McLeod areas uh, in that circulation. So right now it is Oklahoma City uh, needing to take cover. Tornado warning, tornado emergency right now for Oklahoma City. And more is also in the threat area. There is also a tornado warning for more Oklahoma as we're looking on the right-hand side of your screen at the radar on the left. Storm chasers in the field. We're not 100% sure where their location is, uh, but they are in the Oklahoma City area and likely somewhere on this storm. There are certain things we can look at when we see the pictures, like the sun angle, if they're in the rain, because you can see on the right, if they're in the rain, they're gonna be somewhere in that green, yellow, or red area. Uh, but if they're not, they're gonna be outside of that. Uh, it's hard to tell exactly when you have these storms coming over which direction the sun is coming from, but you, uh, can you even begin to guess, Dr. Forbes, which direction we're looking at? Well, I would guess that they're looking off toward uh, the, the, from the east toward the west there, toward the sun there on the uh, left side, but... Could they, could they be looking north maybe too? Uh, they could be looking northwest. North, well, northwest perhaps? Toward the northwest, yep, that certainly is a possibility. And it, it looks like maybe some blowing rain, they had to use their, their windshield wipers. But I mean, they're, they're, they're shooting There's, in a direction, oh, it says near Union City, but they're shooting in a direction where they would think something's going on. Yeah, right? they're, uh, they're right on the edge yeah, of the so rain area. Yeah, so they are south. Uh, close, to that second, close to that second storm, they're probably just to the east of Union City, looking uh, west uh, toward uh, such that they're most likely that leftmost telephone pole there is the area where they are seeing the, uh, expecting to see a wall cloud or a tornado come down with a rain-free base just to, the, just to the left of that where you're seeing the clear sky. So we know that the circulation of the tornadoes have been right on the south edge of the, of the rain areas today. You can see the, the rain uh, that is obscuring the sky there suddenly goes bright sky. Uh, so uh, they're sitting there watching that to see if there's any wall cloud, any lowering rotating cloud, any tornado come toward that location. At least that's my interpretation of what they're doing. And if that's the doing. case, we have to hope they're far enough south to yeah. be out of the way. Yeah, indeed. And if, if what I'm saying is correct, the, uh, there is not a uh, visible tornado or, or wall cloud there uh, at this time, uh, at least uh, visible from, from the angle that they're looking at. Okay, but right now there is a tornado warning that does include Oklahoma City. 
looking at two possible tornadoes in this. It looks just like a, you know, a batch of red and yellow and green. This is the rain and the hail that's coming down right now, represented by the radar, but we are seeing clues that there are a couple of tornadoes with this. And so this is an immediate and imminent threat here for Oklahoma City, Moore, Oklahoma, Valley Brook here, getting very close here, Dr. Yeah, Force. the new new radar is in uh, the very strong tornado vortex signature there, coming very close to the Valley Brook area. I'm going to now take another look here and see. Uh, not Well, there's a little bit of lowering in the return there. It might be a little bit of debris in the in the air, but it doesn't. it's not the kind of massive debris holes uh, that we've seen at times. Uh, that is in this little bit of a hook. Uh, so the tornado is sitting right there uh, in that uh, gr near that green triangle heading right toward the Valley Brook area. Uh, let me slide this just a little bit to the north uh, so that that the tornado is heading toward Valley Brook. Immediate circulation there is not heading toward the Moore area, but the next storm farther to the west uh, is will probably run along the south edge of the first storm's rain area and uh, head more toward the Moore area. All right, so in the timing here, we're looking at uh, about a half an hour for more. Is that right? Uh, about, I think before it's at 8 o'clock. So let me uh, take a quick look at that. Uh, the next circulation it's is approximately uh, 16 miles off to the west northwest of Moore. So that would probably be uh, these the storms have slowed down a little bit. That might be 45 minutes okay. to an hour yet away. Okay. Uh, the rain now uh, here is. Uh, from the body of this super lead supercell thunderstorm is into the heart of downtown Oklahoma City. Uh, the lavenders here are uh, hail, so we're going to have hail coming uh, slowly across the Oklahoma City metro area and uh, down on the southeast and south side of the main body of the storm is the tornado heading toward the Valley Brook area. All right, and so on the left-hand side of the screen, I believe we're still looking uh, at near Union City, storm chasers out there. And uh, what I'm trying to look here, does it look like, Dr. Forbes, at the top of the screen, if you see the, the, the look like the clouds are moving, does it look like they're close? Yeah, there's there's something there right about the middle of the screen, looks like a little bit of a... Uh, it looks like rotation there's some wall right there, clouds. right? There's definitely some wall clouds, some th th things that are hanging down there. There's some high clouds, or some clouds, I should say, above them that are moving, yeah, from, uh, from right screen, to right. left. But then, uh, then like, from the that, horizon is what you're looking at, yeah, too, Yeah, the right? horizon, farther back on the horizon there is the uh, those low-hanging uh, clouds that are the very suspicious ones that are probably where the updraft of this storm is. Uh, oh, did you see that, those lightning? Yeah. So, hey, Dr. Forbes, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. So, would this, you think maybe on the horizon here, would this be potentially where the tornado would be? And this, the clouds going in this direction, could that be more of the broad circulation uh, or unrelated? They're definitely related. The, the, uh, the upper circulation is just part of the inflow uh, to the overall parent thunderstorm. Uh, and then the, the, the far distant circulation is back. Ah, here it's we have here. it in. Yeah. I can telestrate on it. So we were seeing uh, clouds up here going like that. I'm as, thinking as, the, as the raindrops are, too. Yeah, going as in are that the raindrops. So we're getting uh, some uh, rain cooled air. This is probably the forward flank downdraft area. It's this area back in here that I'm monitoring. There's some uh, rain shafts that are coming down in here. Uh, the tornadoes, when they occur, like to be in the area right about at the interface between the rain-free base and the uh, rain shaft hanging down there. So uh, at the moment, uh, just, uh, just literally two minutes ago or so, there were some low-hanging things right in here, but it seems as if the rain has maybe pushed a little bit to the left and undercut some of that uh, wall cloud or attempted tornadoes uh, as I'm seeing it here. But as you mentioned earlier, it, it looked like uh, what we were seeing that we knew was a tornado, it looked like it could have been something just like this. It could have been rain shaft. But, yeah. but, we knew, but we knew it wasn't based on the observations from, from the ground and from the radar. Yeah, well the other one was, uh, was certainly looked a little bit different than this. This 